Krabs P14, Big B15, and then Jace in 16 as we come down to the grid. At five red lights. And it's lights out, and away we go. Alf gets away well. But MCL also has a very good launch. Is he going to get up the inside in the turn one? In this AS, he tries to get up the inside. Not quite able to make the move. Alf leading out of the center as he's been able to maintain position over MCL. Followed by Matt and CGM Glass. As with yellow flags behind, it looks like it's going to be Fetch caught up in an instant in turn one. But see the front two still battling away. Alf now down in the P2. MCL taking the lead on lap one. Matt still in P3, followed by CGM. Both Ferraris now, five and six. Fetch possibly caught up in an instant with one of the two. Ransdal P7, Yeet making a move for P8 on Phelan. As he skis, looking for a move now. And that is, a, ooh, that is a bit of a sketchy dive bomb. But CGM piling on all the pressure. Malachi sitting with a nice little ERS advantage. He's got that cushion, he's trying to pick up any scraps. The CGM again in the turn four. He gets the move done before the break is in this time. This should mean CGM should stay ahead. We do have movement behind. That's going to be Mel. It's going to be Yeet and Fetch. Obviously, Fetch getting caught up early on in that instant on turn one. So now having this battle for position, trying to get that better grip position for the main race as the damage cover is goes round the outside in the turn four. And it looks like he gets shoved off as Hamilton for stopping all over again. But you have to wonder when Alpha's going to start burning as he's now getting a massive bird. He is pushing this lap, pulls to the outside as we come down into turn one. Going on the lap nine, that's going to be Alf claiming that P1, but it's not done yet. Second bite of the cherry with the DRS will go to MCL. Will he be able to come back at him in the turn four? As round board, he has used a lot of that ERS advantage. Alf covering off the middle. MCL's not going to be close enough to retain that lead. And Alf now putting his claim in for P1, as we're seeing this free car train. Is there going to be a move made? MCL's having a think by going around the outside. Malachi is trying to go around the outside though. MCL picks up, or not MCL, CGM trying to pick up the scraps. Is he going to be able to claim the inside line for P or turn six? He is not, but MCL's going to park the car on the inside, blocking off CGM, but also send Malachi the long way around. So Malachi does have a little bit of snap out into the runoff. CGM trying to get around the outside of turn eight. Just not able to find that grip though. MCL now flashes. He's going to be under threat from Malachi. Malachi just using a little bit of that ERS. He sees the flashing regeneration light in front. Malachi in the P2. Is CGM going to be able to get off the inside? He tries it. Still alongside. MCL gets the inside corner for the second part of the Senna S. CGM claims P3. CGM getting closer, closer, and closer, but it's not going to be enough for a move in the turn once. Come on to the final lap of this sprint. It's going to be all or nothing for the Haas driver to try and get that grid position for the main race. It's going to try and get around the outside at turn four. Malachi covers off the inside line, but he is going to be able to get ahead. Is he going to clear Malachi before breaking? He will. Malachi is going to try and get a good exit, I'd imagine, out turn 12 and see if he can get a dry grist to the line like we've seen with Alonso and Perez last season. Malachi very close. He's going to use all of his ERS, I'd imagine. He gets the battery on. As the gap now three tenths, it's going to keep closing, closing, and closing. Gets the DRS open. As we're going to come to the line, Malachi dummies the inside, goes to the outside, and he just about gets the pass just before line. As we P2 for Malachi, Ransdale P6, Matt P7, followed by Alves just about edging Big B to the line for P8. Yes, P10, Melvin 11, Phelan claims that P12, followed by Yeet having a bit of a slide over the line in P14. But it's five red lights at Interlagos. And this lights out and away we go. We see Alf getting another good start, but is Malachi going to be able to do what MCL couldn't in the sprint race? He looks the inside. Is he going to get ahead in the turn one? Obviously, the Williams is going to claim the inside line for a second part of the S. But Alf maintains the lead from Malachi, followed by CGM and Avi. Ransdown now up in the P5, followed by Matt. But also followed by MCL, who hasn't had a good start. You can see Al's on the sticks, caught up in that incident in turn one. Uh, the Alpine Yeet Max is going to go for a move in the turn four. Uh, that wasn't Yeet Max, that was the other Alpine. The Kras actually going for the move on Melvin. And they're still side by side as we come up in turn six. They're going to try and claim the inside line, but they're not close enough on this occasion. Avi, though, all over the rear, like side by side with CGM through sector two. It's not a conventional place to go for an overtake of the Malachi MP1. He's not going to have the benefit of DRS, so his mediums 
will now be wearing a lot quicker and those behind him as Alf pulls out with the DRS and before the break is zone clears Malachi. So that's going to be Alf back in the lead and lap six of this feature race as it looks like the Haas of CGM Glass going up the inside in the turn one. Or it might be failing with Matt actually as both Haas are very close together there. Alf though able to maintain the lead, Malachi not able to do anything. Is he going to be able to do it on the second year race? He's a lot closer than he was last time around. 90% the RS is he going to use a little bit? He's doing claim that inside line, dominates the inside and goes to the outside. And now obviously Alf has committed to that inside line. He can't make another move without it being illegal. But still, side by side on the run up in the turn six, Malachi's going to claim the inside line. That's where you want your car to be. Force the other driver the long way around. Alf recognised to be in the force long way around. Instead of trying to commit, he reads it and slots back in behind. And he lives to fight another day with Malachi. Alf in the inside in the turn one again reclaims that race lead. Malachi though sticking on that rear end. Will he be able to reclaim it into turn four? As we look behind, he's starting to get a little bit of ERS gain over the Williams driver. And now in the turn four, he's not quite alongside, but someone else is going for a move. And that's going to be Ranstall by the looks of it. And Big B now on fetch behind. Makes a very late dive there in the turn four. Clears the Alfa Romeo and that's going to be up in the P10. As we look at some of the moves behind, it's not too much happening. But again, we see behind Big B and Fetch having a big ding-dong scrap behind. As there's a little bit of contact sending Big B wide. And they're now out of DRS from the teammates. It seems Big B almost always looking like he's coming from miles back in the turn one. Fetch going up the inside into turn four. Can he force the Mercedes drivers out? As Big B, though, he's going to maintain the inside line for turn six. As still there, he's committing and he's going to try and keep it there for turn eight. Still in the inside, but Fetch now having the inside line for the next corner. Is he finally be able to complete the move? Fetch gets clear. Will Melvin be able to pick up a scrap? So Big B is not letting this one go without a fight up the inside now of turn nine. He's not able to get the position though. Still in the outside in the turn 11. And finally, Fetch gets ahead. The yellow wall just not holding up well enough for their liking. As CGM tries to go around the outside, he dips a tire in the grass. And that's not what you want to do in the turn one. Big snap due to it. It's very tricky to, but it's very easy to clip the glass, grass on the outside there. But now, CGM under threat from Avi. Avi's trying to get the long way around in the turn four. He commits to the outside line. Avi's still on the outside of CGM. This could give him the inside line for turn six to where you want to position the car. Force the other driver the long way around. Avi's going to force CGM the long way. Is Mac going to be able to pick up any scraps from this though? He's having a look. CGM, maximum commitment over the grass though. And he's... Look like he's been shoved off a little bit by the Ferrari. Still side by side for sector two. This is going to cost him though. This now... Briggs, Malachi and Alpha away from the DRS in the turn 9, Avi up the inside. CGM Glass still on the inside though for turn 10. Now in the turn 11. But Matt still trying to find a way past. And it's Mercedes round. Mercedes on the grass behind. Looks like Ransdell has had a bit of a moment. I don't know if it's contact. As Avi now having a little bit of a moment with that squabble. He's been dropped down to P8. And look at this battle forming in the turn one. Is Mac going to be able to go up the inside? He forced his way to the inside. And that's a ballsy move from the Alpha Tari. And on the inside, the CGM comes back at him. But it's a pinch point by Apex. Little bit of contact as he tries to find a way past Matt as well. And we're seeing further contact. Failing up in the P3. The bigs wear out that situation. MCL now going up the inside in the turn four. Can he claim P5? He gets the move for P5. Not quite close enough for P4 though on the Alpha Tari. Yeet now finds himself under threat from Glass. Losing out big time in that situation. Glass now down to P7. They're taking a more cautious approach. Not trying to take too many risks. Whereas MCL seemingly throwing caution to the wind. Which obviously from a stream point of view is a great thing to see. He's out there to risk anyone ever. As there's battling in the pit lane. As a VSC. Um... It looked like Phelan and MCL both tried pitting, and they've both battled in the pit lane. As a result, they've both come back out the pit lane. The VSE is in. 
both of the front runners stay out. They don't get the opportunity to get that cheaper pit stop under the safety car. Malkai up in the P1 again. He reclaims that race lead. Is Malkai now going to push? He's got a little bit of an opportunity, a bit of a window to try and take it easy on those tires now. Get a bit more percentage saved on them. And now he can fully push, try and get that race lead. Alf down the inside in the turn four. Is he able to get the move done? He is able to clear Malkai before breaking. Malkai though, having a bit of a slide out of turn four. And we're seeing the tire wear seem to catching up to him a little bit. And when is Malkai going to box? I'd imagine we'll see him in in the next two laps. Malkai has come into the box now. Lap 22, he's gone through those soft compound tires. He's going to come out in P... P9. Rejoining with his teammate. I'd imagine team wars are going to be put straight into play. As Avi pulls off to the side. Concedes position to his teammate. As Malkai will now be fully unleashed by the Scuderia. But I'd imagine with those fresh softs. It's going to be like a hot knife through butter. As now come into turn 12, he's going to get the better traction, gets the barry on. But as we look at this gap, it's going to come down now just a tenth and a half between Malachi and Phelan. What line we pick though, he loves, he loves a good bit of a dummy we've seen this race. They're going to go free wide, Malachi trying to go around the outside, thinks better but that's a bit of a risk he probably doesn't want to be taking. Malachi switches to the inside, oh my lord, what a move, what a move. Malachi, double switch back into turn one. And that is insane from the Ferrari driver. Up in the P6, but he's not going to have the DRS on MCL. He's now going to have to push those tyres again. So Malachi on the back of MCL and Big B. I'd imagine if you're Big B and MCL, you don't really want to be battling Malachi. It's only going to harm your own wrist. But now Malachi picking the inside. We're looking free wide nearly again. Malachi two for one again in the turn one. Obviously currently the championship leader. And he's just demonstrating why. It's an insane pitch from Malachi. He gets the better exit now as he gets the overtake deployed, trying to make that move. And he's getting squeezed towards the wall by the Alpine. Is he going to go free wide? Free wide into turn one again. Malachi up the inside as we've seen him do the previous two laps. It's two for one. As Malachi seems to be taking the two for one like Tesco will be able to do. Big round though. Was that contact? He's gone round to turn one, and he's had a moment if he's had a little bit of contact, no visual damage, which means we're not going to have a safety car, as it looks like Melvin in the pits. His AI must pay him when he DC'd. The Yeet Mech's having a bit of a moment there, a bit of a slide on exit. Masca trying to get up the outside of turn six. He's committing, he's going the long way around. Will he be able to make the move stick though? Keeps it just about inside the white line, outside line into turn eight. He's getting forced just into that free course on the outside by the Alpine. Still side by side as we come up in the turn now. Will he be able to make the move stick? A little bit of wheel banging. But as I say, Robin is racing. I've seen extremely hard racing now. MCL trying to get up the outside of Matt, taking advantage of that battle ahead. As we've seen him win, he won in Austria. And he's put on a dominant performance in both the sprint and now the feature race. Pretty much, I think the lowest he went was second, excluding pit stops. That's another display of dominance. He won in Austria, he wins in Brazil, and that's going to be Alf claiming a Williams win. Followed by Malkai in P2, and MCL finishes up the podium in P3. A very hard fought race for the Alf Romeo. Matt in the P4, Big B P5 after penalties behind. Glass in the P6 with his three seconds. I see Yeet Mex coming through in P8, Avi P9, Fetch P10. He holds off Ransdale at the end. Just going to come free in P6, but he is going to lose that position on penalties to Kraz. So it's going to be Kraz P12, Jace P13. Alves is going to come across the final driver to cross the line here at Interlagos. 15 seconds of time penalties. And this has not been a day to remember for the Aston Martin driver. But it will be one to remember in the Williams camp. What a result for the Williams team.